Bollywood for years has often pushed negative stereotypes about Muslims, more often portraying Muslims in a negative light as tensions grow between Muslims and Hindutva extremists. Bollywood movies have been very popular in many Muslim-majority countries for a long time now, but Muslims need to boycott Bollywood and stop supporting this industry. There is now a hit film known as The Kerala Story, a fictitious film being marketed as based on true events. This film, which is being promoted by the current leadership in India, has incited even more violence towards Muslims in an already problematic situation currently in India. Here is a response from a Guardian reporter who watched the movie. A fortnight ago, I watched the new Bollywood hit, The Kerala Story. A group of largely young Hindu men packed out the theater. Occasionally, they broke out into passionate chants of Jai Shri Ram. The cry that often accompanies videos of vigilante violence committed against Muslims. The rolling spectacle of an all-round Hindu humiliation, including graphic scenes depicting Hindu women being violently raped by Muslims had lasted for more than two hours. The Kerala story claims to dramatically reconstruct the saga of a few young women who converted to Islam and subsequently fled with their husbands to Afghanistan and Syria. Among the creative liberties taken by the producers is the deliberate misrepresentation of a handful of such cases and the absurd claim that they represent the gut-wrenching stories of 32,000 females. That big lie, having no evidentiary basis and since excised from the official trailer, forms the heart of this Islamophobic fantasy that is playing out in theatres across the country. Though the film has been attacked as dangerous hate propaganda by opposition politicians such as the Chief Minister of Kerala and panned by critics, it has been championed by India's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party. The Kerala story enjoys informal status as a kind of semi-official production of the ruling establishment, documenting the conspiratorial themes of love jihad and rampant religious conversion. Surveys suggest many Indians of 53 respondents, according to a recent poll, now believe in the Islamophobic idea of love jihad. A sprawling conspiracy to convert Hindu women to Islam by luring them into romantic entanglements with Muslim men. Multiple investigative agencies including one under the central Modi government, have returned with no concrete evidence that the phenomenon exists. The exhaustive publicity that mainstream news channels devoted to the film before its release appear to bear the fingerprints of the ruling establishment. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi banished any lingering doubts with his mention of the movie barely hours after its release, during a campaign rally in the state of Karnataka. The film's importance, he said, lay in its portrayal of a new type of terrorism where guns, bombs and pistols have been replaced by a conspiracy which undermines society from within. Modi emphasized the film's allusion to the Congress party, the primary opposition, as hand in glove with this terrorism. Soon BJP chief ministers lined up to hold special screenings of the Kerala story and grant it tax-free status which is usually reserved for films with educational importance. It's not just Bollywood which represent Muslims in a negative light. This has also been happening for years in Hollywood and also European film studios. We need to stop supporting these organizations that have agendas of attacking Islam and find more productive things to do in our free time.